More and more Canadians now wondering why is Prime Minister Justin Trudeau refusing to do anything on the China file? Nothing to hit back. None of the things that have been recommended by the various ex-diplomats, academics, opposition politicians saying, please do something, do anything, ranging from banning Huawei now, well, you don't like that, okay, file a complaint against the World Trade Organization, you don't want to do that, okay, withdraw from the Asian Investment Infrastructure Bank, no, too, too much for you, okay, well, at least when the ambassador calls us white supremacists, can you maybe actually hit back at that and, and, and tell him that's unacceptable, can you please just do something? No, he's not. He still refuses to. And every single week, they tighten the screws on us more and more. Now, some of this is big picture stuff, diplomacy and trade that may not be seen to affect day-to-day -day Canadians' lives. But the latest story, wow, it is a troubling and a chilling one and shows that this spat has maybe permeated just to day-to-day -day interactions in Canadian society, showing the sort of low-level pressure that China is putting on us. So this latest story from the Post Media Papers, there's a gentleman who was attending the Ottawa Dragon Boat Festival, and he was wearing a t-shirt showing his support for Falun Gong. Well, the CEO of the Dragon Boat Festival allegedly went up to him and said, take that shirt off. I don't want you wearing that. You'll be booted from the festival, and so will other Falun Gong practitioners. Why? Well, allegedly one of the excuses that he gave is he said, well, the embassy, the Chinese embassy, they're one of the financial sponsors of this event, and we don't want to upset them. Excuse me? Now, this isn't just called the Dragon Boat Festival of Ottawa or what have you. It's called the Tim Hortons Dragon Boat Festival, Tim Hortons being the marquee sponsor. Of course, Tim Hortons, very emblematic of Canadian culture, the Canadian way of life. So we have this Canadian event, but a guy's being told to take off a t-shirt expressing his free speech rights in case it offends the Chinese agenda? And this is happening in our nation's capital with people attending a Dragon Boat Festival? Are you kidding me? So this idea that we can just pause and maybe release Meng Wang Zhu, just smooth things over and we'll go back to business as usual, it's not true. This is permeating too deep into our culture right now. It's, it's getting into society. I mean, we may see more stories like this, things happening on a, on a very sort of person-to-person -person community level. The real thing that's going to have to happen here, and we're hearing a lot of experts come forward and say this, is we're going to have to have a national conversation, a really serious one about what we want our relationship to be with China moving forward. Just how much leverage we want this authoritarian communist regime to have over us and our way of life. Now, the Prime Minister doesn't seem to want to have that conversation, but it's one that we're going to have to have.